I'm Chloe with this week's Health and Nutrition News. An apple a day keeps the doctor away is definitely a great advertising slogan because apples are the number one favorite kid's fruit. Researchers studied over 3,000 responses of people ages 2 to 19 from the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey. Apparently, 19% of the fruity nutrition eaten by kids and teens comes from apples. Apple juice, citrus juice, and bananas also made the cut, adding up to half of the fruit consumption altogether. Eating apples has been linked to less need for prescription medicine and lower risk of heart disease, cancer, and diabetes. How do you like them apples? Next time you give your teacher an apple, save some juicy slices for yourself and dip them in peanut butter for a tasty snack. Apples! Ouch! If you've been bullied, even a yummy apple won't cheer you up. In fact, bullying has been linked to long-term health issues well into adulthood. No matter what age you are, bullying can worsen your mental and physical well-being, not to mention putting a damper on your self-esteem. <laughs> Scientists found that adults who were bullied as kids were more likely to have trouble with jobs, lose friendships, and even be at a greater risk for depression. So if you're ever bullied or you know someone who's getting picked on, tell a trusted adult. Teachers and parents can work together to create a positive learning environment because bullying is never okay. When you need to stop a bully, you need to speak. And now for some microscopic bullies, bacteria. Bacteria, we begin with only one. Bacteria, two is what we then become. When we drop food on the floor, is there really a five second rule before it's covered in germs? Well, I can tell you that is a myth. The length of time that food touches the surface actually has no real effect on the amount of bacteria it picks up. In fact, a study found that the difference between 5 seconds and 24 hours passing after food lands on a surface doesn't have a noticeable difference. The only thing that truly determines the amount of bacteria on that chip you dropped is how much is already on the surface before it makes contact. So. When that Ritz cracker slips through your fingers and you watch it fall in slow motion through the air, just know that a whole swarm of bacteria will be waiting to jump on it immediately, laughing as you count down to five seconds. Moral of the story, keep your kitchen, desk, and room clean, or the next gummy bear that you drop will end up more infected with nastiness than a full-on zombie. What else is unhealthy? Energy drinks, because they make it five times more likely for teens to suffer a traumatic brain injury, or TBI. A TBI occurs when a blow to the head leaves someone unconscious for at least five minutes. Energy drinks, with all their sugar and caffeine, alter our body's natural chemistry in a way that makes it harder for people to wake up after getting knocked in their <laughs> noggin. Downing a Red Bull or Rockstar may also increase your chances of taking physical risks because that sudden surge of energy needs to be released somehow. Don't believe the hype. Red Bull doesn't give you wings, as you'll quickly find out when you try to pull off a skateboarding trick on a rickety stairwell. Researchers analyzed 10,000 middle and high school students ages 11 to 20 who were asked about energy drink consumption and whether or not they'd suffered a TBI. 22% said they'd had experience a TBI in their lifetimes, while 6% said they'd had a TBI in the last year, usually from playing sports. <laughs> The odds that a teen had a TBI in the past year were greater if they also consumed lots of energy drinks, like five times greater. So next time you decide to burn away all that sugary fatness from energy drinks with exercise, reconsider or you can end up with a TBI. Action. <laughs> <laughs>